So I've always wanted to be a fast typer. Unfortunately, I'm not. But let's see if we can't change that. I wanna see if I can go from 28 words per minute, which is what I type at right now, to 100 words per minute in only 30 days. So let's see what we can do. All right, so this is day one of this touch typing practice. And uh, as you can see, we have this big light here to light it up. And then we have a mic here to record the sound of the typing. And then we have this boom pole that's gonna have the camera pointing down at the keyboard. Yeah, so I'm about to do the first test uh, just to kind of see what we're working with for this this month of practicing and just be aware that I suck at typing and I've been I've had a little bit of practice on this website keybr.com and uh, so I've gotten a little bit better but I've been struggling with the the finger placement because I'm not used to placing my fingers in that way and typing with those fingers on those keys I've basically I think been typing with maybe four fingers in total most of the time so uh, this has been quite difficult to kind of get used to using all the different fingers. But I have seen a little bit of improvement already just doing it like one day. Uh, but this is the first official day of doing this uh, experiment. So I'm going to do a test now and then we're going to see what we're dealing with. So this is what we're working with right now. Um, average typing speed of 32.1 words per minute and best typing speed was 32.1 words per minute. So uh, that was the best I could do. And this is day one of this test. Typing fast is really a key component of being a good programmer. See what I did there. Uh, and like you now seen, I'm not a fast typer at all. And I also do not type properly. And uh, before doing this experiment, I really was just typing with my index finger and my middle finger. And there is actually a right way and a wrong way to type. And the way that I was doing it is not the right way at all. And I know I may not look too clever, but I actually knew that that was not the right way. And I just never really bothered to learn to type the proper way. The proper typing technique is to use all of your fingers. And this is how you're supposed to place your fingers. The reason for this placement is for efficiency and accuracy. Each finger is only responsible for three letters. That makes it easier for your muscle memory to grasp and it also leads to less travel time between letters. Your finger is either in the right place already or it only needs to go up by one letter or down by one. This combined with the fact that you can move several fingers at once means that you could potentially be hitting eight letters at the same time. And if, like me, you only use four fingers in total, then you could maximally hit four letters at once. Now, hitting several letters simultaneously is not really useful, but it also by default means that you can be faster when typing. You can just almost hit them simultaneously, and that way you produce the fastest possible typing speed. So that was my first challenge, just basically relearning how to type. And luckily for me, I've never really been much of a typist, so my movement pattern wasn't super cemented but it was still super frustrating just getting my ring finger and my pinky finger to just move and do something because they basically didn't want to. All right, so this is day three on this experiment and uh, today I got to the letter P, which was super difficult for me and that meant that I ended up spending way more time than just 20 minutes practicing this. So I think in total I spent about two hours on this, which wasn't super productive. I can't really say that. I feel like I was kind of pro procrastinating in a way. Uh, I should have done other things, but I did spend two hours and now I got the letter P to work. The way the website works is that you get a couple letters. When you first open up the website, you have a couple letters and then you get to practice those until you get to a certain level. And then once you're good enough, according to the website, I guess, uh, at those letters it will add in the next letter and then it will keep going until you get to the entire alphabet 
and today I got to the letter, letter P and that was just super difficult for me. I think I was typing at about like 12 words per minute at, at the start so it's been a struggle but I got the letter P to work. But yeah, that's just a short update from week one of this experiment. This is the second week, second test. I'm at one of the most difficult letters, so I'm at Q. At least for me, that was one of the most difficult letters. Uh, the next one is gonna be J, uh, which will be the last one. I don't know what will happen once I've gotten all of these letters done. The speed at which I wrote for the last uh, section like this that I typed out which was 28.8. It's decent. It's one of the really hard letters. And the reason for uh, saying that is just to kind of show or point out that just within this week, I feel like I'm typing way faster than I've been in the past. And I'm also more accurate with the letters that I type in. I've really gotten down the, the placement of the fingers in the right spots and like getting uh, typing the right letters with the right fingers. It's not like a hundred percent or anything, but it's a lot better than it's been in the past. So I've definitely noticed improvements just within this first week. Something that I didn't know before starting this experiment that I also found really interesting is that the keyboard layout that we see today is based on a design from the 1870s. And that was created by Christopher Latham Scholes. And that's something that I've been wondering about sometimes is just why is the keyboard not laid out in alphabetical order? And if you don't do too much reflecting or too much deep reflection on this topic, then it kind of seems like it's just random or there's no real structure to it. It almost seems like they just took all the letters of the alphabet, put them into a bag, shuffled them around, threw them out on a table, and then that's how they designed the keyboard layout. How it was actually done is by using, or at least by drawing inspiration from, the study of biogram frequency, or in normal words, how often letters appear next to each other. Essentially, in order to type the fastest or most effectively, you would want to use all the fingers. Similar to playing a piano, you want to use all the fingers to play really fast. So therefore, you want an even distribution of key presses between all the fingers. If all the most common letter pairings were to be typed by one finger, then you'll be less efficient. So the the letters are arranged in a way to create some distance between letters that often occur together. So that was just a bit of a history lesson for you and uh, I just found that super interesting so I thought that that would be good to add into this video as well. So I've kind of been feeling myself going a little bit like cal about this, uh, going kind of OCD about it. I'm starting to want to spend a lot more time actually practicing this and less time on other things. So I kind of find myself getting stuck just for like way longer than 20 minutes practicing this. A couple of times I've spent like three hours doing it, which uh, really isn't productive. So I find that I kind of have to stop myself because I feel like I'm going into that place where I've been before, like I've practiced juggling, learned to do that and learned to code and all of these sort of things. And so one of those thoughts is also like, I want to start to optimize this practice to get really, really good at it as or as good as I can get by these 30 days. And that's something that I kind of have to stop myself from doing because I start to think about, okay, maybe I should do one hour just before bed and then end it on a new high because then I'll be sleeping and my brain will kind of uh, process the new stuff that I've been learning or the new movement patterns with the fingers. I like this because I'm getting excited about it and I want to do more and I want to be become better at it but I also need to kind of stop myself because it's not that important it's just one of these experiments I'm supposed to just spend 20 minutes per day I can tell already it's not going to be 20 minutes per day all right this ramble is over now the reason that I wanted to do this is because one of you guys actually replied to my clean code Friday email and told me I should try this site called keybr.com 
So I went on there and I tried it out and I just found it really interesting. And I've also had it in the back of my head for a while now that I really need to get better at typing, especially touch typing. So hitting the right keys without looking because the keyboard is the main tool that I interact with on a daily basis. It makes sense to master that as well as possible. That will increase my effectiveness and that is always a good thing. I've also always been really attracted to that kind of samurai type of respect and mastery for their weapons or tools. So I felt like keyboard mastery is something that I wanted to add to my repertoire as a programmer. So the first question that kind of came to mind was how fast should I be able to type? If we take a look at typing speeds, we can see that the average typing speed of most people is around 35 to 40 words per minute. And an average professional typist usually types between 65 to 75 words per minute. And some professional typing jobs actually require 85 to 95 words per minute. And some even go up as high as 120 words per minute requirements. And this is pretty crazy. The world record is 216 words per minute, which is great, but that's not the crazy part. The crazy part is that was set in 1946 and that was set by someone called Stella Pajunas and that's still unbroken to this day which is just insane and uh, my goal is still just going to be to get to 100 words per minute. If I see that once I'll be super happy. I feel like at that stage you'll be able to call yourself a fast typer. All right so I just managed to get 70 words per minute which is my personal best right now and that's one of the goals that I had to get to 70 words. Not sure how much faster I'll be able to write. I just have two more days and then I'll be done with this challenge but I'm super happy that I actually hit 70 words per minute because I wasn't feeling like I was gonna be able to do that almost because 65 or 68 which was my previous record it felt like it would be super difficult to just increase that by the amount that I needed to but now I hit 70 words and here it is. So there we go you can see 70 words per minute for this the last test that I did. All right, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to do better than this at this final test, but 69.6 .6 words per minute. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that for this test. Let's just check out my profile because today it went pretty well. Uh, my average typing speed today was 59.5 words per minute and top speed was 69.6, .6, which is really good. And the average speed for this entire experiment has been 46.1 words per minute, and that's including all of the total 24.5 hours that I've spent in these 30 days. Maximum speed, 70.2 words per minute, 69.6 .6 was today, and average 46.1. I'm gonna try one more test, but you won't hear this if I get a better score than what I got right now. So uh, we'll see what happens, but for now, 69.6. .6. I'm really happy with that. That's close to my fastest speed that I've written. Okay, so now in total, I ended up spending about 25 hours, which averages out to about 50 minutes per day for 30 days. And that's well beyond the 20 minutes per day that I was planning on. So we can definitely say that I went full cal on this project as well. So much so that some of my other work has definitely suffered. Towards the end, I was pretty much like an addict. I was kind of hesitant to start every day because I knew that once I started, I probably wouldn't be able to stop until I like got a new PB or at least tied an old one, which is one of the reasons that I spent over four hours one day practicing this. Yep, so that is what going full cal kind of looks like. We can also see that my average typing speed for these 30 days was 46.6 .6 words per minute which is really good, I would say, considering that for the first 15 to 18 days, I was kind of happy to just hit 40. And then we can also see that my top speed, my all time top speed was 70.2 words per minute. I'm really happy with this experiment. I didn't get to 100 words per minute, but I've improved my typing speed by a crazy amount still. I'm so much faster now compared to when I started that it's not even a competition. My accuracy has also improved, meaning that I really don't need to look at the keyboard anymore at all, which was also one of my goals. I will definitely continue practicing this because to me this is just a lot of fun to do and it also has some value by improving my typing speed. 
And even though I can't really justify spending four hours per day or even two hours, I would say that if I keep practicing at a reasonable rate, then that will be nothing but good. So um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to also add in some really like useful information about typing. And any links to anything I mentioned will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see you in the next one.